Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. You like this video, you give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. Ababu Namwamba, the cabinet minister of sports has come to find himself on a hot soup as the members of parliament from UDA have come out to declare a war towards that minister. Their claims are that Ababu Namwamba is just bulldozing and having a flag on his vehicle as a cabinet minister, but he does not understand the intention why their boss, William Ruto, appointed him to be the, pre, uh, the cabinet minister of transport. As I was watching whatever Cherargay came out responding to the speech of Kimani Ishungwa during a hot debate in National Assembly, I want us to read whatever Senator Cherargei has come out to post in his Twitter handle. Then after that, I want us to understand on how Kimani Ichungwa came out destroying a Babu Namwamba live live in National Assembly. Now, Senator Kiprotich Arab Cherargei is saying that this. Tonight, I echo sentiments of Honorable Ishungwa Majority Leader, National Assembly, that CS Ababu continues to mismanage into oblivion our beloved sports. How can ministry officials fly first class with their girlfriends to Olympics, but bad, best, Angari? at the expense of our athletes. Our female athletes being exploited sexually and economically. Parliament must summon CS sports to avert disastrous mismanagement of our sports. That is whatever a raptured gay is saying. But this is the response of a raptured gay towards the sentiments that were made by Kimani Ishungwa in the National Assembly. And I want us to listen to whatever Kipchumba, um, Kipchumba Murkomen is saying. Then after that, I want us to understand why is it they are ambushing Ababu Namwamba after they came the other day ambushing the Cabinet Minister of Health, um, Cabinet Minister of Health that is Nahumisha, after coming out to say that she was going to transfer the OCS as if that was her docket. So Ababu Namwamba, as per the reviews we are going to see, there's a possibility Ababu Namwamba is going to be kicked out. And this is the claim that MPs, all UD MPs, are coming out to propose Ababu, uh, Ababu Namwamba to be removed. So there is the sentiments of Kimani Ishungwa. You are not made a minister in this country to fly flags in the streets and push and bulldoze your way through traffic with Subaru escorts. You are made a minister to serve the people. And if you are made the minister of sports, you must serve sports and sportsmen and women of our country, and it's indeed extremely sad that such good ambassadors of our country can leave our country without due recognition by the ministry charged with that responsibility. And to make matters worse, they go represent our country out there, they win, come back, and not a single officer in the ministry or the minister himself has the decency and the courtesy to receive them at the airport and even to recognize and appreciate 
the good work they have done for our country. And indeed, Honorable Speaker, I can hear the Honorable Shaquille whispering that he's busy. And all ministers are busy. But when you're a minister for sports, your core business is managing our sportsmen and women. And more so those who are able differently, these are the people who we should support more. So that even as we speak about giving opportunities to people who live with disability or are able differently than us, it doesn't become just a matter of talking, but we are showing those others who have talents and skills in other areas that they are recognized, they are appreciated, and they are valued by their own country. Therefore, let me, on behalf of the government of Kenya, take this opportunity to profoundly apologize to these great sportsmen and women of our country. But even as I apologize on behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, the Minister, Honorable Speaker, must appear before this House and I will cause his appearance specifically to tell this House and to tell the people of Kenya why he lacks the time to attend to people who are representing our country and are good ambassadors of our country, Honorable Speaker. Because that is the biggest responsibility, Honorable Speaker, as you were saying yesterday. Members of Parliament, as the people's representatives, must hold ministers to account. You are not made a minister in this country to fly flags in the streets and push and bulldoze your way through traffic with Subaru escorts. You are made a minister to serve the people. And if you are made the minister of sports, you must serve sports and sportsmen and women of our country. The best ambassadors who represent us. Honorable Speaker, you can imagine the, the great feeling that we all feel when these athletes are competing out there and they are winning medals for us. We all come together as Kenyans. And the highest representation we should see in those studies, our ministers not carrying joy riders on trips abroad to accompany them to trips abroad and doing nothing. We must see them here receiving our number one ambassadors around the world. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, on behalf of not just these honorable members, the people of Kenya and the government of the Republic of Kenya, I must profoundly apologize to these great men and women who have ably represented our country, but also promise them we shall take the minister to account for his time in office, and he must appear before this House Honorable Speaker to tell us why he could not afford time not just for these athletes, but even for others, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I am, I am constrained to say more because there, there is more I could have said. <laughs> Allow me, Honorable Speaker, because I heard the President the other day saying there are people serving in government who he knows more about them ministries, departments, and agencies in their ministries more than they do. Let them know notice has been served by than, none other than the president, and we shall pick the queue from there, and it shall not be pleasant. I know you have a copyright of noisy and messy, Honorable Speaker. I will not use those words. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. is the statement of Kimani Chungwa. And this was <laughs> something that I realized that these cabinet ministers are going to pass a very kind of challenge. Remember, William Samueruto is very sober and he is sober. And if it is someone that is likely to fire people left, right, center, it is William Samueruto. And he will do it. You know, these people thought like it was a freedom, a pure freedom they were, they, they were having, being appointed as cabinet ministers. So now they have flags on their vehicles. So, Nestaretu, 
Now, this is the kind of kind of unfortunate scenario that they're going to find themselves in. People like Aisha Juma, people like uh, Florence Bore, people like Naumisha, people like Babu Namwamba, people like Moses Kuria, these people, people like Mintika Linturi, you know, everyone must understand his docket. You saw William Ruto coming out to say that he understands very well different dockets that these people are holding. So if he is going to fire them, then they must be very careful. These are certain kind of cautious sentiments that these cabinet ministers must uh, not involve themselves in. Because at this point of view, if UDA MPs are coming out to kick them, you want to tell me they will not be kicked out. They will be kicked out because the UDA, if they will decide Kenya Kwanzaa in the National Assembly, they want to kick him out. They will kick him out. So ladies and gentlemen, perhaps that was the scenario that happened in National Assembly. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye.